How to find real estate deals in Toronto. Toronto deals. Everyone's looking for a deal and I'm going to show you a few ways to find some Toronto real estate deals. Yossi Kaplan here, my friends. Toronto real estate agent mortgage broker. We search realty, search mortgage. Let's look at some deals. Uh, Yossi Kaplan, you want to find more about me, yossikaplan.com. Toronto condos is for sale. How to buy for construction condos. Blog post. Direct link to any neighborhood you want to look at what's going on. Listings. Uh, there's listings by price search, by bedroom size, by features, by type. You want to see just penthouse, just townhome, whatever. I uh, got lots of assignments. Most of them are not listed. You got to email me, but there's about a hundred, about a hundred assignments listed at any given time. Reduced alerts, all amazing information. Okay. Um, if you bought a condo the last three years and you haven't applied for the HST rebate, uh, we're launching a service to help you do that. You can do it by yourself. Or you can do it through myself and one of my associates rebateontario.ca rebateontario.ca okay how to find deals so go to torontocondosforsale.com that link will wait for you um, that is what you're going to see i change that website all the time there's a great website it's got lots and lots of information and some serious serious programming and database behind it the easiest thing to do is to start searching and you can search by city neighborhood address school postal code or mls number um, just to make things easy let's look at 560 king Street West in Toronto, there it is, and King Street is a popular name in Ontario, obviously, so let's search, and if you logged in, um, you'll see this uh, screen, if you're not, you may need to log in, that's all good, and you start with this uh, list here, and now what we're going to do, we're going to start um, skimming around, so I want to see only the condos, okay, I want to see only the for sale but not for rent so only the red not the blue and the price range i want to see anything from uh say from five hundred thousand up okay so these are my filters and now i'm starting to look at units as i start to click on these units if these units were reduced next to uh the price here you're gonna see that they were reduced I have a whole other uh, video and uh, email to my email group of how to find reduced properties. If you are on my email list uh, and you recently interacted with me because I only sent it to the last 200 people that interacted with me, um, you'll see it. If you haven't and you want to see what was reduced, uh, just send me a quick email and send you the link to the reduced, okay, if you can't find it. Um, but the one thing to do is start following um, these listings here. <clears throat> And remember, I was talking about $1,000 a foot, give or take, $519,000 asking. Uh, these units are about 530 square feet, if I remember, so just under 1000 a foot. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Came on the market recently. So obviously, I just searched for one address, so I'm just looking at one address. But this stretch, if you keep, keep, keep watching the same uh, area, the same neighborhood, you're looking for the deal, you're looking for the deal, it will show up. It will show up either as the number is reduced or maybe the property itself being relisted. So they take it off and then they put it down. So this property could have been listed before at a higher price. It just doesn't show, but it may show just with a new price. Some sellers and agents prefer this method. Some sellers prefer to show that it was reduced. It's all good. There's pros and cons to everything in life. And then of course you can start just lurking around the listings to see what's available and as you keep track of a specific neighborhood you're going to start seeing more and more you're going to start understanding the prices of these buildings for example i track the thompson almost every day so here is a unit 550 on a 13th floor and here's a unit 570 on the third floor so from from first looks and here's a fifth floor 529 so that's the fifth floor 575 so that's really interesting so now i'm curious are these units are similar are these the same size all that stuff so you can see here uh this unit has been for sale for 17 days these are the pictures that the real estate agent uploaded not very good job on the marketing here very very bad job on the marketing here whoever the real estate agent for this property you need a real photographer and if you <laughs> it is what it is that's like very quick jerky photos from the cell phone but over half a million you got to do better 
nonetheless, uh, you can tell these units, okay, so that's overlooking, I believe, north, and it's got the balcony, that's 650 King, okay, so you look in north, west is uh, left, so you can see, but if you've been to the Thompson, it's a good unit, you can take a show in here, so that's your typical one bedroom at the, um, at the Thompson, and as I, as I keep uh, uh, looking into these units, that's the back building of Thompson, Let's go back to the King Street, 629 King. And then if I look at, uh, so this is the one I looked at, 1312. And I'm just doing a comparison. Uh, now, what do I get for 20,000 more? First of all, it's 10 floors below. It's been on the market for 46 days. Um, I'm not sure if it's a larger unit. I have to, uh, let me see here. So one thing you can do, that's a really good trick. Look at the maintenance fees, okay? And look at the taxes for this one. So 384 a month for the maintenance fee for this unit and 2163, so you know 180 or so dollars a month. That's not bad. Uh, but they're asking a little more. They're asking a little more for this unit. Uh, it does seem to me very, very similar. So in this case, either the dollar per foot is higher, which means that the 13th floor was a better deal, because we're looking at how to find deals, or there's maybe something unique about this unit that we don't know about. So um, easy, easy comparison, and this is how I find the deals. I compare the maintenance fees, 384, because that will give me an idea. Now, it's got a locker here. I don't think it's got parking, but it does have a locker here. You can see even the, uh, the schedules. It was rented. It was sold, all that stuff, and <clears throat> locker owned parking underground general parking, but I don't see parking with the unit, okay? So let me go back to... Um, the other unit and then we'll do a quick comparison you can see okay so that's the third floor we just looked at we looked at uh, this one 322 I'm gonna open it 1312 one more time and at 1312 let's look at the condo fees 290 okay so what is the difference here the difference is the locker um, it could have a parking I don't see it I'm going to search on the page for the word parking. I don't see. And the annual property tax are more or less the same. So that is really interesting because it looks like it's more or less the same unit. So to me, that is something that screams deal to me. And now I want to know, um, they didn't give a lot of info here. So I may pop into this unit. I may call it. A lot of these units have been in. 1312, these are 450 square feet, most of them with the balcony. Balcony is not included, obviously, in the square feet. And some of them do not have balcony. Those who do not have balcony could be slightly larger, and those who have balcony could be slightly smaller. Nonetheless, um, it looks like a typical, it's really hard to see because the pictures are so bad here. But, you know, it is what it is. But it does look like the typical unit at uh, Thompson. So to me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on what's going on there. And King West is very, very busy these days. If you walk into King West, you're going to see a lot of people on the street. All the patios are open. They actually extended patios uh, on the street. So it's, it's quite lively here. Uh, here's another unit. Uh, this one is 338. So also very, very similar on the condo fees. So all these units are very, very similar. So by comparing the condo fees, by comparing the... Um, property tax, it gives me a hint of what this unit is. Now, obviously, unless you see a floor plan and you can actually see, you can actually see the unit inside, you know, you, you can never tell fully, but that those are very, very good ideas, give you a very good ideas of what to expect. Here is a unit that was reduced. You can see here, you see the green sign. It was re reduced by $9,100, 1.42%. It's been on the market for a long time, which tells me maybe it's been overpriced because the cheaper unit will always go first. You know, people are stupid, and that's how it works. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll be back.